Hello, chaps. I'm so joyous that you've returned for another episode of God of War. Now, enough with the phony British accent. Let's get back to the action. Last episode, we, uh... Oh, secret. Okay. Well, that one was kind of decently hidden, I guess. Uh, last episode, we did stuff. We went into this volcanic region, which may or may not be the same one as the beginning of the game. And we found a guy who turned his daughter into gold, which turned out to be King Midas. You know from the Greek myth, that king guy that turned everything he touched into gold? Now, I'm not exactly sure how that how that's even supposed to work. Like, if it's really everything he touches with any part of his body, then we'd be seeing golden footprints all over the place. So, I'm guessing that they went with the... He only turns into gold what he touches with the palms of his hands. Which makes a bit more sense, to be quite honest. And it would still suck, I mean... Who can live without the use of their hands? Like, any food he grabs turns into gold and he can't eat it anymore. Maybe that's why he was so skinny. I mean, if you don't eat, you grow skinny. Everyone knows that. And then eventually you swell up again because of some sort of, like, protein or... Carb... Shortage or something. I don't know. I heard about it in biology class like six years ago. And forgotten all about it ever since. But yeah, let's get that gate open. And smash some rocks while we're at it. Or planks. Why are there planks standing against the rocks here? Like what, this area's under construction? Bunch of Greek laborers are gonna come in here and finish this up in the morning? Well, I guess... Then we'll finally have some Greeks that are actually doing something. Instead of just, uh... Sitting there... And expecting the rest of Europe to pay for their lazy asses. Freaking Greeks. Why can't they maintain a decent economy? I swear, it's their crappy pension system. Like, in Greece, you can uh, retire when you're like 50 or something. And when you die, the government doesn't even bother to like check if you're actually dead or not. So they just keep paying your pension. And your wife or husband or kids can just profit off of that. They, like... They don't think that, oh, this guy is like 120 years old. Oh, let's see if he's still alive before we pay him his retirement funds. I mean, come on. How stupid are you, Greeks? Anyway, some sort of platforming error happened there, I guess. For some reason, I didn't grab onto that ledge. There we go, now I made it. Because I do want this chest. Because it has a phoenix feather in it. Yes, despite the fact that I'm not really using the magic all that much. If I do get all of those things, then I can at least... This LP can at least double as a walkthrough on how to get all the collectibles. And I've gotten them all before because I have the trophies for all of those. And ooh, oh, look, there he is, King Midas. Stay away! Stay away! I'm cursed. Stay away! Don't you see? Everything I touch... Gold. Midas? I, I didn't mean to. I thought... How, how could I know that she would... <laughs> oh, my daughter. My beautiful little girl. <gasps> Wow, that's a nice trick. 
Bet you can't do it twice, though. Oh, wait, he has two hands. Uh, bet you can do it three times. Yeah, that works. Anyway, how convenient for Kratos that he just happened to become delusional and think that he could stick his hand in that. So now we can pass and get across the river. How thoughtful of him. He really gave me a hand there. <laughs> That's a good one. That one's going on my TV tropes page. If I can figure out what trope that falls under. I don't know. Some sort of dark humor? I like dark humor. I also like innuendos and stuff. What do we have here? The King's Ring. Okay, so his hand was melted to pieces, but his ring is perfectly fine. And why isn't the gold melting? Like, I don't know much about gold, but I'm pretty sure lava is hot enough to make even gold melt. Anyway, we got a crap ton of red orbs again, so let's just max out the arms of Sparta. So that we can beast through the rest of the game with those. And, uh... Crap, I forgot what I was... Oh, yeah, innuendos. I had this great, uh... Conversation with my... Neighbor girl about my age one year younger and she was organizing some sort of charity car wash event so I was like oh, okay my car needs to be washed so when I was done work and I sent her a text like are you still doing that car wash thing she said no we're done for today already I said uh, well it's a shame I could have really used the uh, not really sure if it translates all that well into English but in my language, we have a word called beurt. And it can it has multiple meanings. Like, it can be used as turn. Like, when it's your turn in Monopoly, you say, it, it is jouw beurt by Monopoly. Yes, that's how we pronounce Monopoly. Deal with it. Uh, beurt can also mean, like, a checkup or a tune-up for a car or any other sort of vehicle. And, lastly, it can also mean getting laid. So, yeah, it has multiple meanings. So, essentially, what I texted her was... Jammer, ik kon wel een beurt gebruiken. Which could translate as... Well, it's a pity my car could really have used the uh, getting washed. Or, it could have also meant... I could have really, like, gotten laid. And... She said, she replied, yeah, maybe next time. And I said, oh yeah, my car needs a berth as well. So see what I did there? The explanation might have been a bit lackluster. Uh, it's easier to explain in Dutch, but then not even everyone's going to get it. It's just one of those jokes that doesn't really translate all that well. Like most jokes in like Pixar movies or something. That's why I always, whenever I go to the movies, I always insist on watching them in English. Because if you watch the translated version, which they do, they translate most of the, uh, like, animated movies like Shrek and Ice Age and uh, Toy Story and stuff. Because those are meant for kids, mostly. And kids in my country don't really speak English all that well. Oh, a treasure chest. Why won't it open? Damn it, Midas. There could have been something really good in here. Oh, he even petrified a freaking Cyclops. That's impressive for that skinny old wimp. Oh, uh, yeah, was I talking about um, movie dubbings in my country? Or dubs? Yeah, dubs, I think. Um, yeah, some jokes just aren't translated. Like, you can... People attempt to translate them, but... It just comes out really wrong. Which is also why dubbed versions of cartoons suck so much. I remember when I was a kid, Nickelodeon... It was like just starting over here. And they'd air like... Dubbed versions of all the cartoons like Spongebob and... Cat Dog and... Ren and Stimpy and stuff during the day. But after like 9 p.m., 
or so when all the kids would be sent off to bed by their parents, they'd air the original English versions with subtitles. And I usually just stayed up and watched the cartoons like after 9 p.m. If I could, if I had access to the TV, that is. Because you know how it is. When you're watching TV and your dad comes home and he says, get the hell away from the TV because I want to watch football or soccer or politics or whatever, then you know that you didn't have a chance as a kid. Which is why I'm happy that I have my own TV now. Sadly, it doesn't have any channels on it. All I can use it for is to play video games on. And I'm not really much of a TV fan anyway. I do follow the Daily Show and the Colbert Report on occasion. Those are funny shows, man. Love them. Uh, should really get back to the game, I guess. So, yeah. Back in the volcano. Guessing it's the same one. I mean, we are going back to Atlantis, so it would only make sense to go back to the same volcano. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's up? You look like you'd really use a hand. Get it? Because he's one short. And I'm giving him a couple. To the face. Alright. Uh, careful, Kratos. Better not let him touch you. Where do those dogs come from? It's like, okay, he has the guy. Now we'll ambush him and... No, you stay down. Should be saying that to the dogs, not you. Alright. Come on, buddy. I think you can see where this is going. And he doesn't like it, which is why he's not cooperating. He knows damn well what's gonna happen. No dogs, you stay there. Alright Midas, wakey wakey, time for school. Oh no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. He really doesn't want to let it happen. And see, I think it's only like the stuff he touches with his hand, because he's like dragging this golden trail across the floor. So, we can grab his foot just fine. It's a good thing he only has one hand, though, that kind of limits the risk. But, yeah. We'll put him out of his misery now. And, oopsie-daisy. Ooh, that has gotta hurt. And now everything is gold, so we can cross the river. Or climb up there, which is where we need to be going. Now, I wonder... Could he still be alive? Like, the lava didn't completely incinerate him... Before he was uh, turned into gold. But who knows, maybe... He's trapped like that forever, and it's a fate worse than death. Could be possible, I mean, stuff like that happened in Greek myths all the time. Anyway, fill up the health again, pop up some red orbs, why not? I mean, I am pretty well on schedule with leveling everything up. All the weapons are maxed out, and the magic only has like two or three levels, so... Uh, I think I already got the Scourge of Eren is maxed out all the way, even though I never use it. I never used the Horn of Boreas and the Eye of Atlantis either, but that's beside the point. Let's just say they're there if you want to use them. And I usually don't really want to use them. Oh look, soldiers! Oh, block ya, sucker. Yeah, I still find these enemies to be much trickier than they need to be. Like, I don't know why, it, that attack seems to be unblockable or something. Or maybe I'm just really bad with the timing. Come on. And they're dead. Now, what have we here? Another secret chest. I guess I'll take that. Okay, that's nice. Uh, there's only two more Phoenix Feathers, I think. Yeah, pretty much all the bars can only go up one more time. Before they're maxed out. So there's really not that many collectibles left. I'm just, I'm just doing such a great job collecting them all. Okay, I see another red orb chest up there. And enemies! Yay, archers! Oh, those are just fodder 
I mean, they're not even worth the effort. So, throw them. Oh, that doesn't kill them? Well, uh, this will. Alrighty. Let's see how much this gives us. It could just be me, but I have the feeling that the red orb chests in this game give you way more red orbs than in the other games. Like, sure, in the beginning it was kind of leveled out, but I think that just popping open that chest gave me like two or three thousand orbs. That's almost enough to upgrade a magic power one level. Like from level one to level two. I mean, I just upgraded a whole bunch of stuff and I have 15,000 red orbs already. So those things, they, they just give you a lot of those. Oh crap, archers. Ah, that arrow went through. Now I know that there is a chest over here if you go to the right instead of walking towards the light you break this whoa crap break this thing here oh what I can't do that when I'm on the freaking balance beam okay then we'll do it from here just chuck some spears at it there we go it's all flying debris now I just have to get back there without getting myself killed can I jump that let's not take the risk Let's just take it nice and slow. Don't do anything stupid. And what do we have here? Final Gorgon Eye, I'm guessing. So, five eyes, meter. Yeah, that's about as far as it's gonna go. So it's all Phoenix Feathers and Minotaur Horns from here on out. And made it. Alright. The atmosphere kind of starts looking like Atlantis again, so I'm guessing we're getting close. Yep, Port of Atlantis. Alright. I will just save my game here, and then I will see you guys in the next episode of God of War Ghost of Sparta, in which we're gonna go back to Atlantis and cause a whole bunch of mayhem. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.